In this video, we are going over two more examples for this week five. One is about the rational fractions or expressions, and then another one is the complex fractions. The first problem here is to asking uh, you to perform the indicated operations, and this is the addition between rational fractions. Now, any time that you are trying to add fraction together, we only can add the fraction together if they have the same denominators. So the first steps we need to list out the denominators of each of the individual fractions and then from there we are going to find the least common denominators LCD. Alright so the um, for the first fractions we see that we have x plus 5 that is the denominator for uh, the first fraction. For the second one, we have x, right? That's just one factor. But for the last one, we have x squared plus 5x. Now, normally, we should factor out the common factor for these type of problems so that we can try to find the LCD. We see that there's the x here, there's the x here, so I can pull out the x. If I pull out the x, I only have one x left and there's mo no more x for the second terms and therefore the denominator for this, the, the last term is x times x plus 5 now you see that we are looking for the common factor so there's a x plus 5 there's x plus 5 so x plus 5 is one of the term right you should you should use in the LCD and then your x and your x they are the same thing so we also use one of them so the lcd the lcd is just the product of one of the x plus 5 and then between the two x they are the same thing so we just take one of them so this is the lcd so th this lcd contains all the factors of all the three fractions that we have here now, after we have the LCD, then we are going to to be able to add them. Okay, so I put the LCD at the bottom, x times x plus five. Now, looking at the first frac uh, fraction right here, the first fraction has x plus five, so it is missing one x here in order to, in order to get to the LCD. So the first fraction is missing one x. So we multiply that x to the existing numerator, 2x plus 9, and we keep the add side. The second term right here has only x, so it is missing x plus 5. So we need to multiply x plus 5 to the existing numerator 4, and then we minus. Now the last one has x squared plus 5x, and this is in fact x times x plus 5 so we are not missing anything for the the LCD so we don't have to multiply on the top to anything so we just have minus 5 and therefore now we are able to add and subtract the, uh, thing them and the last step is we are going to uh, simplify that further so x times 2x that's gonna be 2x squared x times 9 that's gonna be 9x 4 times x that is gonna be 4x 4 times 5, that's going to be 20, minus 5. And we keep x and x plus 5 at the bottom. Now it's time to simplify uh, the num numerator. Uh, the square term, there's not nothing else besides 2x squared, so I keep that. For the x term, I have 9x. I add 4x, that is going to be 13x. So plus 13x. And then 20 minus 5, 20 minus 5 is 15, that is 15, right? You can combine them together, and then over x, x plus 5. Now, we can also further simplify the numerator. So how do I simplify that? Let's do that over here. So we have 2x squared plus 13x plus 15 we can somehow factor this trinomial and please note that 
this is the leading coefficient is not one so it is a little bit complicated when we are trying to factor but it's still uh, okay to do that so let's try it now so let's draw uh, the cross side the top number is the product between the, the constant 15 and the leading coefficient so 15 times 2 give me 30 right here and then the middle coefficient 13 go to the bottom so now you are looking for two numbers when you multiply them together you get 30 when you add them together you get 13 of course that's gonna be 10 and 3 that is uh, that is easy in this case so 10 and 3 because 10 times 3 give me 30 10 plus 3 give me 13 so these are the two numbers that I'm looking for and why do I uh, need this two value because I'm going to rewrite the number 13 into the sum of 10 and 3 so you still have 2x square now instead of writing 13x I'm, I'm going to use 10 and 3 so I have 10x plus 3x you see that together you still get back 13x that is the same thing we are just rewriting it and the last step is we are factoring by grouping so we normally group the first two term and the last two term together between the first two term I can see that I can pull out a 2x if I pull out 2x I only have 1x left here right because 2x times x could be 2x squared now 10x divided by 2x I'm going to get 5 between the last two terms I can pull out 3 if I pull out 3 this first term I have x left and the second term 15 divided by 3 I have 5 and now you see that these two terms they have a common factor of x plus 5 so I'm going to pull out x plus 5 to the front if I pull out x plus 5 from this term I only have 2x left if I pull out x plus 5 to the front I only have 3 left so this is my factor of the numerator here so instead of writing this whole expression I can write it in the factor form which is x plus 5 and then 2x plus 3 and then all over x and x plus 5 and the reason I'm factoring because now you can see that I can cancel I can make simplification between the numerator and the denominator uh, x plus 5 and therefore I only have x plus 3 over x and that is my final answer right from the whole beginning complicated expression now we get to a very nice and easy uh, expression right here the next topic for this week is about a complex fraction a complex fraction is the fraction that has another fraction on the top and another fraction on the bottom or both way all right so the uh, the standard goal uh, to to solve any solve or simplify any complex fraction is to multiply the LCD the least common denominator on the top and also at the bottom now let's look at the top expression only 1 over x plus 4 this is the top what is the LCD of the top the LCD of the top this one has x this one has 1 so the LCD is just x right the product of, between these two and then look at the bottom 1 over x minus 2 now what is the LCD for the bottom again this is 2 over 1 the same thing between x and 1 x times 1 is just x so the LCD of the top is x, the LCD of the bottom is also x. So the overall LCD, the overall LCD is, is because they are the same thing, so it's just x for the overall LCD. So this is the overall LCD for this complex fraction. So we go ahead and we take that overall, we multiply it to the top, we also multiply it to the bottom. So now let's do simplification make the distribution on the top first so x times 1 give me x over x x times 4 give me 4x okay 
and then for the bottom x times 1 give me x over x x times 2 minus 2 I, I have the minus sign here and then x divided by x cancel out I have 1 plus 4x and then the bottom x divided by x is 1 1 minus 2 and oh, oh sorry x times 2 is 2x so this is 2x right here so 1 minus 2x and there's nothing else we can simplify so we can uh, there's nothing we can factor there's nothing we can simplify so this is the best uh, answer all right thanks for watching